Hello everybody and welcome to Honeybunny Games. My name is Twisted and today we are going to be playing Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma. So, this is going to be a kind of a weird video because this game is absolutely phenomenal. I beat the game, it took me 22 hours to finish it. But, this game is the third part in a series, in the Zero Escape series. And you absolutely must play the previous games. The first game is 9 persons, 9 hours, 9, nine doors. The second game is Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. You need to play at least Virtue's Last Reward. Do not play this game. Do not even look up anything about this game without playing Virtue's Last Reward. If you haven't played Virtue's Last Reward, you need to play Virtue's Last Reward. This game series is... It's one of my favorite game series ever. It has such an amazing story. It is... Absolutely good. This is a... it's kind of like a visual novel slash escape the room type of game, but not really. It's very, very difficult to explain. And that's why it's gonna be a really, really weird video, because I'm gonna try to convince you to play the previous games in this series without actually, actually showing you any gameplay, because showing you some gameplay will spoil something. At least you should go into this game blind. Into this series you go blind. But the big problem is Zero Time Dilemma is the first game that's available on Steam. The first two games are not available on Steam right now. In fact, the second game is only available on PS Vita and 3DS. So if you have one of those systems, you need to get this game. It's actually on sale on PS Vita right now. Uh, Virtual Last Word, go get it if you can. But there is a silver lining. I think there's a high chance that uh, the first two games in the series will come to PC. So that's glorious. So yeah, you absolutely need to play this game. This... It's, it's so difficult to talk about this without actually spoiling anything. But yeah, if you if you have any desire to play this game, it's truly amazing. One of my favorite games of all time. Please stop watching right now. Go get it. Don't watch it. Wait. Wait until it comes on the PC. Just don't, don't spoil yourself, please. You don't want to spoil yourself because this is so amazing. All right. We're going to launch the game and make a jump cut. First of all, we're going to do a little bit of a story bit and then we're going to go look at some gameplay bits. And I will do a jump cut and be right back. Alright, here we are in the game. So I skipped ahead a little bit. I want to spoil as little as possible. So the basic premise... Hold on. The basic premise of the Zero Escape series is that nine people are trapped somewhere and they have to play a game in order to survive. People will die. You have to... In this game, the game is called the Decision Game. And our first choice is basically we need to choose who we want to vote for the team. There's three teams. The team who gets two votes dies. We're playing as Q team right now. Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Uh, so what, you think there's assorted teas inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Stop! What if it's some kind of bomb? A bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um, I think this is upside down. So, this would be the front. Force quit box? Guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Maybe... Your life. What was that sound? It came from that way. Oh, let's go! Gab? How did you... You came through the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will ya? <laughs> see? You didn't have this stupid thing on your head. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? I get it. If each team ends up with one vote each, the whole thing is a tie, and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea! 
Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, what if this message hasn't been delivered to D-Team yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects to Ward C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D-Team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, right? A pen? And cheese? That should do it. What exactly are you doing? Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and... It's all on you, Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C-Team is a trap. Trap? They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q-Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! Alright, so now we get to choose who we want to execute. I will not be doing this choice. Uh, if you change your mind, you can come back in the story later. That's the beauty of the Zero Escape series. You can come back to the story and change your mind if you so choose. I'm gonna make another jump cut. We're gonna go to a little, another little story section and then to a puzzle section. So be right back. Alrighty, so we are now huh? in the bio lab. Why? <sighs> nope. It won't even budge. This takes place after what the, the hell vote. is that? The vote is the beginning of the game. That was basically one of the, solution the first ten minutes of the game. A pig. It's okay, Mira. I'm right here with you. <sighs> We're in the bio lab, right? So there's a bunch of biological research here. Jeez, this place is really creepy. Why is something like this in a bomb shelter? Maybe the builders thought to be prepared for some kind of pandemic. Pandemic? An infectious disease that hits on a global scale. It's like a sudden deadly virus outbreak. Maybe this place is an isolated location for researching all kinds of viruses like that. Oh, okay. Or maybe Zero put it here in order to do something to us. Like what? Like maybe taking the ingredients and cooking all of us a nice meal. Ugh. Um, but isn't it uh, too early for dinner? It's been four and a half hours since we fell asleep in the lounge. Four and a half hours. They knocked us out for quite a while. No, not necessarily. We could have woken up a bunch of times during all that. But if Zero erased our memories... Of course, we wouldn't remember. No. What's this? 
slash the pig's stomach. Whoa! For real? Would that mean that we... Probably. Why? Why do we have to do something like that? I have no idea, but it's not like we really have a choice, do we? There's no way to leave. We're just gonna have to do what he said. Alrighty, and this takes us into the escape section. Which is basically you go around the room and you try to find a way to finish the task that you were given. So I forgot to mention one key thing. Uh, one of the key aspects of the Division game, one of the key aspects of all Zero Escape games, is that each participant has a bracelet. And this time, in that bracelet, uh, every 90 minutes, you are injected with a sleeping... Uh, sleeping medicine that puts you to sleep, and also with uh, something that makes you forget all your memories from the past 90 minutes. So the game is a little bit different than the previous games. Instead of being a linear story like Zero Escape or 999, uh, it actually is non-linear, so since you forget everything that happens uh, after every section, because each section lasts 90 minutes, you forget everything that happens, you're actually given a choice of various sections, and you don't necessarily know what order they take place in. You know what the first one and the first two are, but the other ones you can pick and choose which you want, and you have to figure out uh, how they take place uh, chronologically. Also, there, since there's three teams, there's not one main character, there's three main characters and you play from three different points of view, which also adds to the thing of, to the reason that you can actually choose between different teams. Alright, so let's actually play a little bit of this, try to solve this. I chose Team Q, specifically, and if you've played Virtue's Last Reward, you'll probably know why. And if you haven't played Virtue's Last Reward, stop watching now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Virtue's Last Reward, because that's the close comparison I have with this game. So please, if you haven't played the previous games, please leave, don't spoil yourself, don't ruin this wonderful, wonderful experience that is Zero Escape, please don't, just... Please. It's... It's a shame to miss out. It's a shame to miss out. Alright, so now let's actually talk about uh, Zero Escape. Let's actually do something here. I have some things over here we can grab. Yeah, Liquid, I know. There's some beakers. Yes, awesome. There's some other beakers. Awesome. Pink and green. Great. Let's actually compare this game to Zero Escape. So, I, um, Twitch Last Reward. I think this game is a little bit shorter, but it does a wonderful job of wrapping up most, the vast majority of storylines from um, Virtue's Last Reward. If you've played Virtue's Last Reward, you know where this game takes place because it was heavily implied where the next game will, is gonna actually take place. This game takes place at the um, Mars mission test site. You could say, and it's uh, you, you know the main story. You know the you probably know the characters. I didn't want to show off any other teams because if I show off other teams, they might actually spoil some of Virtual Lizard World. That's why I didn't want to do that. Let's take a look at this. It's gonna give us the info how to operate the machine over here. I know that. Oh, don't look at that. God damn it! I should probably blank the screen out. Maybe not. I didn't think there was anything sensitive in there. But yeah, yeah. once again, there's uh, you can find various documents to help you out with the game, and uh, also give you little extra story bits. I do feel like it's a bit shorter, I, there's definitely less escape sections, which is a shame, because I enjoy this a great deal. And I feel... This is my personal opinion, I've seen a lot of people on the internet complain that these things are too difficult. But I feel, I feel like they were really, really easy. I feel like all of these escape sections were a lot easier than Virtue's Last Reward. But people on, people on the internet seem to disagree with me, because I've seen a lot of people complain that they are a lot more difficult than before. Which... I was not expecting that, because I, I feel like they were really, really easy. I, I wasn't stuck. At all. I just sold them all really easily with not any problems. But let's take a look at this thing. What is this? Analyzer. Yeah. We need to turn on the power cords. Uh -huh. Is there something in the drawer? No, it's, it's closed. What about this one? Closed. All right. We need to find something. Maybe no, there's nothing here. Maybe there's something in here. I don't think there is, though. Yeah, nothing in there. Oh, uh, cannot open these things down there. We cannot do anything with these things right now. I will, sp I will not finish this thing. I will spoil half of it. We have to go over here, right? I'll spoil half of this puzzle, and you can play the rest of it yourself. I hope Zero Escape comes out. Uh, I hope Rich Last Reward and 99 come out on Steam. That would be so good. I want to play through them again. They're such amazing games. Really, it, it was... I played Rich Last Reward first, because uh, I got... I, I didn't know that this was the second part of a trilogy, and it blew me away. It completely blew me away. I had to play 99 ASAP, so I had to get my hands on it in any way I could. It's, it's so good. 
this story is so good. You probably know that already, because if you... Yeah, I forgot to pick open, yeah. A bunch of things inside. So we have more stuff, I know. We have microscope lens. That's going to be useful for a microscope. Anything else in here? We have the a power cord. It's going to be very useful. And also... Okay, paper. On Fanatic Bio R. I will not read that, because... I think you should experience it for yourself. So we need to can cut, put the power cable in here, no problem. By the way, if you're wondering about the PC port, PC port is, is great. The, one one my only complaint is that it doesn't show the hotkeys for the PC version. For example, if you look at the menu here, you can see that it says X, even though it's click, not X. But we have this thing over here, which is the question mark. We can look into controls. It gives you all the controls for all the screens. Uh, use the controls, you, there's like no hidden hotkeys. So you can always look something up. It's all very, very nice. Uh, so let's look at the menu file is where you can find your files flow is if you've played virtual last reward You know what this thing is memo is the same thing you can add memos I will not open it because I have some memos written already. I don't want to spoil anything save is save log is the log of what people actually said Which is very useful. Can I can also play back the lines if it's a, uh, a Cinema section options is self-explanatory and status is the status of the other people that are in uh, The story right now, which is actually really cool I think they could have used that in virtual last reward too because sometimes you got kind of Tricky to follow who actually is alive, who is missing, who is dead, or whatnot. Okay, what am I doing now? I'm, it's actually hard to focus while I'm talking. Uh, we gotta go over here to this machine, which is turned on. Yeah, we cannot. Alright, where is our knife? No, we don't need a knife. We need to use the knife for something else. I don't remember. Uh, we open this. We can use... Oh, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, go take this thing. This little thing over here, it's red. Yeah. Take it. That's a piece of DNA model. And if you look at that, oh my god. It's a heptagon. And the heptagon. There's one more heptagon over here. Now unscrew this plate. Awesome. We can take a look at this. Cover is off. We have the cover of the centrifuge. And there's something on it. We gotta figure a way to see what, what these lines mean. They mean something. I don't know what. I mean, I do know what they mean, but I won't tell you because I'm secretly like that. Uh, okay. So now we can actually... Take our microscope lens, if I can... I can just open the menu, but I can cycle through them by using W if I want to. And I think that's a little bit faster than just opening up every single time. But the microscope... And now we can actually look at the liquid. So if we put the liquid over here, we can look at it, and it doesn't actually tell us anything. It's uh, too blurry to see anything useful. And too fuzzy to see. How do we fix that? Well, it's actually quite easy. You do this machine, which, if you've seen any CSI shows, you probably know what this thing is. You put the beaker in the middle, and we can spin it around and separate the liquid into two two separate parts. This is the blue test tube. It's blue liquid, yes. And it gives us... Uh, hold on, I gotta close this. That's maybe my only complaint that you need to close the menu to get new items, but it, it's totally minor. It doesn't actually matter. It's not lemonade, Eric. It's not lemonade. Yeah, I didn't actually mention any of the characters' names. I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I, want, to sp I want to show off how good this game is without... Mentioning anything. I mean names are not that important, but still I, it's it's a thing All right, so if you use the yellow liquid over here You now actually see that these cells are different. So they're not blurred blurring anymore. So they are now in pairs of five Hint 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 and if you look at this one you can see that they are in pairs of two hint 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 That is probably important in some way Is it? It is but I will not tell you why it's so important. But I think I can actually just uh, end this video here that was my video of zero escape zero time dilemma the game is amazing it's absolutely phenomenal it's probably the best game of 2016 so far honestly if you ask me i i'm a huge fan of the series but you absolutely need to play virtuous last reward before playing this game you need to play virtuous last reward before you play this i cannot Tell you, because if you don't, this game is gonna, it's it's all gonna be all bananas. It's gonna be crazy, crazy confusing. And, because this game is really crazy. There's a lot of really, really crazy concepts. And you will probably be very confused by some terms and things they talk about. Which would be very clear to you if you played Virtue's Last Reward. Because Virtue's Last Reward explains most of them. Uh, 999, you should also play that. It's not as crucial, but it's really, really, really beneficial to have played it. It's it's really, really... You, need, you should probably play 999, but you absolutely have to. You must play Virtual Last Reward without playing this. Do not play this game without playing Virtual Last Reward, because it will spoil the entire game, mostly, and it will also uh, 
not make as much sense and it will you need to play with your last reward before playing this find a way to get it hopefully it's gonna be on steam soon no guarantees though it's been rumored that it's gonna come out if this game does well so <laughs> ideally i'd suggest that you buy this game and then not play it until which last reward comes out not to be kind of irresponsible but i think it these guys deserve every penny because it's it's absolutely amazing it is top notch it's top notch but yeah i'm gonna actually uh end this video here if you guys enjoyed this episode Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, helps us a great deal, more than you can even imagine. Yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name's been Twisted from Hide Games, and I will see you next time.